So, ladies and gentlemen, again, I want you guys to think, 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 think. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Think, think, think. When you guys had these problems, we had a whole bunch of them, right? I had 12 of them up there. Everything was all different. Now, first thing is when you have a polynomial or you have something that you know the graph, like those special trigonometric functions, those are nice. Like you should think about those first. Um, or we're getting into more difficult ones later when we're dealing with different types of functions. But when we're dealing with rational functions, polynomial in the top and the bottom, our most important thing is we want to do is identify the asymptotes. So again, remember what I did is you know, I looked at compare the degrees in the numerator and the denominator. In here, the degree in the numerator is less than the degree in the denominator. Correct? Right? So 2 obviously is less than 3. So if you guys remember, when the degree in the numerator was less than the degree in the denominator, the horizontal asymptote was equal to 0. So it doesn't matter as the graph is going towards infinity or going to negative infinity. It doesn't even matter what the graph looks like. We know that the graph, it can cross the horizontal asymptote. It can do all the stuff. But we know its end behavior is going to be approaching the horizontal asymptote. So the first one, it doesn't matter if it's infinity or negative infinity. It's going to 0. Done. Move on. OK. So the next one is, again, we're identifying the degrees of them, 5 and 5. Since the degrees are exactly the same in the numerator and the denominator, we know that the horizontal asymptote is equal to the ratio of my coefficients. So my horizontal asymptote is y equals 3 fifths. Again, it's an asymptote. So the graph, no matter who cares what it looks like, who cares what all the rest of the function is? or the polynomial is. It doesn't matter. We could put fractions and decimals and make it look all crazy, but it's still, in the end, it's a polynomial. It's going to approach its horizontal asymptote. As it goes to infinity, 3 fifths. As it goes to negative infinity, 3 fifths. Done. Now, in this last one, we have a little bit of an issue because the graph has now what we have is a horizontal, or I'm sorry, a slant or an oblique asymptote. So our first thing I showed you was like this long way of making sense of it. We could do long division. Nobody is going to want to do long division, right? So we can just mark that out. The next one was, but in reality, what, when you do do long division, what are you dividing into that first portion? What are you actually dividing everything by? The x squared. That's basically what you're dividing everything into. So you could divide everything by x squared, and you get the same answer, um, which I'll maybe show you guys. I'll maybe do it below. But in reality, the fastest way to do this is take your leading, your leading terms and just simplify those. So when you have that, you have, um, you have let me just move this over so you can see. So when you guys just take the whole term, you simplify this to give you 2x. Now do we know what the end behavior is for 2x? As it goes to infinity, the graph is going to go up. So it's going to infinity. As it's going to the left, it's going to negative infinity. Okay. So that is the boiled down non mathematical, this is why 